Hi everybody, this is Matt and we're back with another mesh modeler tutorial and today we're going to be creating a custom tunnel. So we have a starting and ending point and these blocks are offset by one and they're at the same height. So we're gonna create a little kind of S bend here uh, to connect these two points. And I think this one is three, yeah, this one's three blocks away, but you can kind of make things as big or, or whatever design you want. Um, we're gonna click on the item mode and then if you see the modes here on the bottom left, click this right arrow to go to item editing, click the plus to create a new item. And then we're gonna click on the corner of this block to line, make it easy to line things up. Then we'll go to geometry mesh and click on the settings here. Next step is to click on the cube and press delete to delete the, the default mesh there. Then we're going to click on creation tools and then create face and we're going to do a 32 meter tool step. Click on the origin, you'll see the green, blue, and red lines are all highlighted. Click there once, go to the right, click, up, click, and then along the red line, click, and then we're gonna double click at the origin again to create our face. Now if we click on the selection and double click on the selection tool, we can highlight it. Um, then we're going to go to advanced tools, which is the middle icon, and we're gonna click subdivide twice. And you can see that now we have a four by four grid of blocks here. And we're gonna click on each one and press delete on the four middle blocks. Uh, so this is gonna be like a little tunnel that our car can drive through. The next step is to do a, uh, we want to extrude this to actually kind of create a block. So that's under the modeling tools. Hit control A to highlight everything set the tool step to four meters and click on extrude selection. So we're gonna extrude along this blue line. One thing you'll see when we do this is that uh, it looks all wonky. It doesn't, it, it's like we didn't extrude in the right direction. So if, if it looks like that, hit control Z, press I to flip the face. Um, you could also rotate it using the rotation tool, but I is just pressing I is a little easier. And now we can do the extrude again. So we're just gonna go one step along the blue line and that will create an, a nice looking block here. One of the important things when creating a tunnel is that if it's all the same color, it's really hard to see like what turns or what curves are in it. So we wanna have different lines kind of as part of our tunnel. And right now the only lines we have are going sideways on the front of our face. Um, that doesn't look very, very natural. Um, this would look very strange. So we're gonna go in and edit our materials. Before we do that, one thing we wanna do is subdivide this face. So we're gonna click on the, the bottom one on the inside in the middle, go back to the advanced tools, click on subdivide, and then we're going to actually click on each of these bottom ones and subdivide each of those as well. And so we're gonna use these faces to create lines on the edges of our tunnels. And then we're also going to apply like a normal um, road face to the, to the bottom of it. So we'll do the same on this side, subdivide, this face and then click on each one in the middle and subdivide each of those. So this will be able to apply different textures to kind of like this set of blocks and or this set of faces in the, and the bottom one as well. So now that we have those subdivisions done, we're going to just hit control A, click on the paint tool. And I think I'm going to do just metal, um, use kind of the metal textures for this. So there's custom metal painted. Um, you could also do like wood or plastic or snow. You can play around with the textures. There's tons and tons of options, but I'm gonna click on custom metal painted and we're gonna make the entire thing black. So I'll click on the black color, click apply to selection. So that's making every face this kind of metal black color. The next thing we wanna do is make each of these faces um, a different color. So I'm gonna select these four. I think I'm going to just like pick a color here. I guess I'll pick yellow. And then I'm gonna select the four above that and I'm gonna pick this blue color. So you can do whatever colors you want. Um, you can also kind of subdivide, do like different sizes of, for lines and stuff like that. Um, we'll keep it simple here, just do yellow and blue and then we're gonna do it on this side as well. So I'll hold control, select all four of these faces, go to yellow and then click on each of these while holding control to select them all, click on blue and hit apply. And I think, um, so yeah, so now we have a, a yellow stripe, a blue stripe here, and then I also wanna create a red stripe on the outside here. So I'm gonna click on this face and we're gonna make it red. We're gonna click on this face. 
we'll, ma we'll make it red as well. And then I also want to do click on these two faces on the top and we'll also make those red. So we'll have a couple lines on the outside as well, a couple red lines. Perfect. The next thing we want to do is actually have a normal road face on the inside of our track. So we're going to click on these two faces and hold control. Um, so the metal is on page 11. We're going to go all the way back to page one and click on the road tech. So now we're on the UV protection planner. We actually want to use the cubic one. So UV protection cubic, click apply material to selection. You can see we only have the border on the left hand side, but we actually want it like on both sides of our road. And so if you click on the custom UV mode icon, uh, which is the second one down here, we can edit where the UVs are placed. So you can move them around and scale them. So uh, if you click and drag this yellow um, selection, we can drag and move these around. So for example, if I moved it in the middle, we're just gonna have a normal road. If I move it down, we're gonna have it on the left. If I move it up, then we're gonna have it on the right. We actually wanna have both, so we're gonna need to scale it up. So we can click on the scale UVs and then click and highlight it again if you need to. And then we can drag it. Let's see. Why isn't it letting me drag? Yeah, it seemed like, okay, it seemed like that froze. Let me go back in here. Okay, there, now, yeah, I'm not, not quite sure what's going on here. I'll put it in the middle. So you might have to kind of click around and then we'll click on the scale. I think maybe it's just like being a little slow to, to process and, and catch up to all my clicks. Um, Okay, there we go. So now it's letting me scale up. Um, perfect. So you might have to kind of play around and it might be a little finicky, but you can see that when it overlaps both green lines with when you scale it up, now you'll see the border on both sides. And any part that's overlapping or, or kind of past it is gonna be that, uh, that black area. So now that I have um, the line on both sides and this I guess isn't super precise, um, let's try and move it so it's a little more centered. Okay, perfect. So now we have our road face in the middle there. So now when we do the deformation, all of these materials will, will kind of um, deform along with us. And so we'll have these nice smooth lines throughout our tunnel. So I'm going to go back to the um, modeling tools, which is the second icon. Hit Control A and click on deformation. And so you can see right now, my deformation is pointed at the stands. And so to move that, I have to click on the orange dot in the very middle, and then click on, um, depending on which direction you want to deform, we want to deform to the left. So we're gonna click on the orange dot that's aligned with the right hand face. And then that will create this little green um, rectangle on the left hand side, and then we can deform towards the left here. So now our, so our tool step is set to four meters. So we're gonna click on the screen icon, or so if you click away, you'll see there's both a dark green dot and a yellow green dot here. So if you click on the yellow green dot once, that will select this face. Now we can click and drag it over along the blue axis, and we'll just kind of drag that over along the blue one until it's aligned um, approximately with with our um, where we want our tunnel to end. And then we also wanna click and drag it to the right. If you were doing a more complicated tunnel and wanted kind of curves on it, um, you can select these, like these three um, dots on the out hand side or on like the outer side of the rectangle, we'll, we'll let you rotate it. So you can like, let's say I was gonna rotate it down. Um, you can see it turns blue when it hits 90 degrees, but we could rotate it like that and, and kind of have some kind of bump or something if we wanted. Um, if you were going to, going to have a turn in your tunnel, then you would use the icon on the right here. 
um, like that, you can kind of like make different turns. And then this, let's see, I probably should not have hit control A there. Um, but here, let's, let's just get things in the right place. But yeah, if you click the one in the corner, that lets you rotate it. So if you're gonna have some kind of um, like slant in your tunnel, you could do that as well. So now we're, so we're gonna go back and click on this green icon and then we'll click and drag it. Whoops, we'll click on the yellow green one, click again and drag it over to the right here. Um, so we're just lining it up with where we want our tunnel to end. And you can see this road has a nice curve along with our tunnel. And it did that because we applied the materials first. Um, and like we did the UVs and the materials before we did the deformation. So now it's all nice and smooth. And we can see the red line on the top is, is smooth as well. So this is our tunnel. Um, now we just want to save this. So we'll save it. And I'm just going to name it tunnel.gbx. Uh, so we have a nice smooth tunnel. And then we'll hit the back icon. And we want to edit the placement parameters. So we'll click on placement parameters. We'll set the fly step to 1, the horizontal size to 32, and the vertical size to um, 8. So this will make it nice and easy to place. Hit save again and we can go and try and place it and line it up so i think with this one um, we might need it yeah it looks like we're going to need an offset as well so you can see here that our um we're not quite lined up i think we're this is i think this is yeah we're two meters off so we're actually going to need to create an offset as well so to do that we're going to click on settings click this click on our icon again, go back to placement parameters and click on the grid vertical offset and we'll set that to two. And so that should make the inside of our tunnel line up when we uh, place it. So now it, it's nice and easy to place that block and we'll go ahead and validate our track. So you can see the inside of our tunnel, we have the yellow and blue lines on the side and we have the nice um, road in the middle as well so thanks everybody for watching um really really appreciate everyone uh for for watching the video and hope you have a great rest of the day and feel free to post in the comments if you need any help or anything or have any questions or if you have any ideas for future videos so thanks everyone and um i'll see you in the next video